Good morning or good afternoon whenever you are watching this. This is Amanda Ellis of amandaellis.co.uk, Facebook page Angelic Celestial Colours and YouTube Amanda Ellis 11. Um, this is the video for September 2017 and um, feels like there's quite a lot to say because August was such a momentous month, wasn't it? Such a momentous month, so much changing energy. Um, quite hard actually to keep a fixed place. <laughs> um, and now we're into September. Um, I'm making this on the, I think it's the 4th. And um, first of my children went back to school today. So it's a time of fresh new starts. And, you know, getting back to work. Um, Usually, I always feel that September brings in um, very much a sense of a new beginning and almost as though, it almost feels a bit like New Year's Day, as though we have a chance to start over and do things anew. However, that is still true, but I do feel that there is just a lot of still changing energy around at this moment, which is muddying the waters a little bit excuse the pun because there's a lot of water around as well at the moment and maybe actually this is partly why there is a confusing picture this month and we'll look into it I'll um, I'll pull some cards and use some of the color sprays to get some clarity but I just wanted to start off by sort of saying what I'm sensing energetically at the start of September because I suspect that many of you are feeling it too um, the analogy or the picture that I'm being shown in my mind by Metatron because I've tuned in to him before pressing play on this uh, video is of well let's 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 go back a step actually the energy feels very much like a swing that is a bit wildly out of control so I've been noticing myself that I'm having moments where almost like I'm so excited and like bubbling with excitement and enthusiasm, um, almost as though I could explode. And then in other moments where actually I've been feeling quite down, quite flat, quite demotivated, and it's quite hard to get a handle on it. And um, this isn't, although I'm a Cancerian and I'm sensitive and I can be a bit up and down, this is different. This is definitely something that's out there in the collective. So I was asking Metatron about this and what he's showing me is that, you know, when you're trying to start a car, um, he's saying an old car, okay? And the old car reflects our physical bodies at this moment, okay? Just bear with me with this analogy. It's got nothing actually to do with age, whether you're 50 or whether you're 15. It's more that we're carrying an old body which is trying to upgrade itself, is trying to catch up with the energies that are out there, but is struggling a bit. So it's as though we're starting up the motor on ourselves, on our car, and the car is spluttering a bit. <laughs> and like old cars do, they sort of like, and then you might get it started and then it sort of fades out again. But the promise is that if you keep turning the key in the ignition, eventually you get that throaty roar of a really healthy engine that's actually ready to go. So I hope that makes sense because it made sense to me when he was saying that. The other thing he's saying, and again, it's another piece, it's another analogy linked to um, vehicles, is I'm being shown a train, okay? And it's as though we are in the driving seat of this train we're in the engine part of it. If it was an old steam train, we'd be there sort of putting the coal in or whatever it was they used to fire the, um, the steam trains with. And uh, it's as though we want to get to our destination very quickly. But what we're forgetting is we've got all these carriages behind us. Now, the carriages, it's not just our stuff that we're trying to transform and we are trying to change and we're trying to um, heighten in terms of vibration. It's actually the collective. 
So those of you that are watching this are by nature probably light workers, okay? You've been working with the light for a while or if you've just discovered that you're working with a light, it doesn't matter, you're a light worker. You're here to serve the light. You're here to break through old paradigms or create new paradigms rather. And, but we are, we've got this stop start energy because as light workers, we're getting the first hit of this glorious new vibration um, of fifth dimensional consciousness. But lagging behind is the greater collective. And sometimes we forget about that greater collective. But the birth pains that are going on in the greater collective at the moment are very, very real. And it's very hard to distance yourself from that. And I'm not even sure we should distance ourselves from it. Coupled with that are many things that are happening in our world particularly around natural disasters. I made a video on earth changes about a month ago, um, which was a bit like a warning from Metatron that we need to get ready, we need to prepare, we mustn't be afraid, but there are changes coming. Now, whether you call it earth changes, whether you believe they're man-made changes, um, whether you just want to call them natural disasters, the point is that there are a lot happening at the moment. And one thing I would like to say actually is that going forward, um, if a warning effectively comes through from Metatron, like it did on that, um, the one thing I've learned with working with Metatron's energy, which I hadn't appreciated when I made that video, is that um, he'll give you a warning, but he often doesn't give you, they're usually quite time specific. You know, he doesn't give a warning which is like for months and months in the, in, in, in the distance. They, and the reason he does that is that he doesn't want to cause too much worry or panic. And he knows that by saying something's going to happen in the future, um, lots of people worry and worry about it. So the, the warning comes just before something happens. And we can see that things have been happening since that video was made, since that warning came out. We've had mass flooding across the planet. Um, in Houston, in Texas, Southeast Asia has been horrifically um, affected by flood water. Um, other places around the world as well, I believe Ontario has had bad flooding as well in Canada. Even in the UK over the weekend there was um, very unexpected flash flooding down in Devon and Cornwall, came from nowhere. You know these are unexpected events and also fires that are raging as well, particularly in Los Angeles and other places. So we are going to see a continuation of this, I'm afraid, and we're going to see a continuation of um, events that are coming through the elements of fire, earth, water and air. Um, and why I'm bringing that up again is that we can't really um, just push that onto the back burner and pretend it's not happening. And so it's happening, yes, in the collective, but it's happening to us all individually as well because we're all connected. One big thing that it's producing at an individual level is that it's shaking up our base chakras. If you think about the base chakra, the base chakra um, um, situated at the base of the spine, um, back and front, obviously there's a back and front um, chakra, side chakras as well, um, rules safety. It rules, um, it's a primary need to feel safe, to feel stable. And what these natural disasters are doing, even if they're not happening in our hometown, is they are interfering with the confidence that we have, that we are safe, that we are protected. So there's a degree this September where we need to all be strengthening up our base chakra. Now, the colour energy that I use to do this, I'm going to go and grab it, is a red crimson. So I'm just going to go and grab it from over here. So we have Archangel Metatron. This is the Crimson Base Chakra Spray, okay? And I'm also showing this one here. This is a Colour Mirrors bottle, which is also C1, it's called. And this is linked into Base Chakra as well. Um, red is a... Um, oh, I was about to say it's a third dimensional energy, which isn't correct at all, really, because 
Um, red as an energy is something that we physically need in our body all of the time. Um, the reason I said it's a third dimensional colour is within colour mirrors, this is what they call the third dimensional colour for the base chakra. And then there is a, um, another one, fourth dimensional, which is clear. Um, but the point is we can't get away from red, which is why with the Metatron sprays, I chose to keep the red for the base. Let's just pull some of that red, red energy into our base chakra. And let's just concentrate on the word safety for one moment, okay? So just think about safety. Think about your roots going down into the earth. And allow Metatron just to place into the base chakra a beautiful red ruby rose. Fragrant, open, in full bloom. Feel the colour energy of that red ruby light, crimson light, and just let it strengthen your physical body. Your physical body's having a bit of a hard time at the moment, okay? So we have to allow it some slack. And I do feel, um, before we pull any cards, that one thing that's very important for September is that we start to look after our physical selves a bit better, okay? Um, be that diet, fitness, um, t getting out more in nature, um, giving yourself more downtime, stretching, yoga, whatever it is, you know, there is a need to look after the physical body. Um, the physical body is um, the one that is really struggling at this time, okay? So the, use the red energy to help nourish it. Let's pull some cards at this point, and I'm going to use the energy oracle cards from Sandra and Taylor, okay? Energy oracle cards from San, San, Sandra and Taylor. It's not a very common name, Sandra, anymore, is it? Anyway, that's as an aside. So when we're working with Metatron um, and working with Oracle cards, we're asking him to work through the deck that we're using. He was very specific that he wanted me to use this deck for September. And I'm going to pull four from this deck, okay? So the first, no, not that one. Keep going, he's saying. That's one that's come out. Next one is third one. Oh, I'm going to pull one more. Okay, lively. Okay, one more for September, please. Interesting. Okay, so I'll just show you what the cards are and then I will um, interpret them for you. The first one is card number 43 and it says man holding a coin. Okay, man holding a coin. Then we've got a card about blossoming abundance, card number three. Then we've got a card which is called attachment and then we've got a card which is about contract. So these two feel as though they go together, attachment and contract. And man holding a coin and blossoming abundance feel as though they go together. And I'm going to ask for a fifth energy, which is almost like a bridge energy between those two sets of cards that we've got here. So let's have a bridge energy, Metatron. And by a bridge energy, I'm just really talking about a card um, or a message that pulls it all together for us. And that one's leaping out. And we've got the card of deceit, okay? Not a very nice card, but let's, let's look at that, okay? Um, right, let me just tune into this for a moment for you. The first three cards, man holding a coin, blossoming abundance and deceit. I feel this is saying something to us about the material world in which we all live. Um, on a positive note, I feel strongly that these two together 
um, are positive indications of money flowing well. Um, and as soon as I said that, I was getting fear coming up, not my own fear. I, I feel like I've, um, I'm, I'm, I'm all right along this path. I've, I've sort of mastered some of my fears around money myself, but I was actually feeling a collective fear coming up, okay? We've got a card which basically talks about abundance coming in. And then I was being shown all the fears that we have around war at the moment, okay? I'm making this, as I say, on Monday. And um, I think over the weekend, North Korea has just dropped, whether it's a hydrogen bomb or whatever it is. We're sort of awaiting what the USA response will be. It's a very unstable time for our world. And why it was coming into the thoughts about money is that, obviously, um, war or instability within the world um, can lead to um, recession and it can lead to depression. Um, the financial markets don't like instability, um, don't like periods where it's very unsettled. But yet we've got this message here which is basically saying um, it's okay, you can have blossoming abundance, you can be the man who's holding the coin. Um, and the card here next to it is the card of deceit, okay? And more than anything, I feel as though this is, an en this is the energy which is trying to deceive us at the moment. It's trying to put us into fear. It's trying to make us um, contract back into ourselves, not just at a spiritual level, but very much in terms of um, spreading our wings, stretching out, you know, this is nature's time where she wants to grow, fresh starts, like I said at the start of this video. And what's here, Spirit is saying, is that you, you can have it all. You know, you can have abundance. You can be the, the, the person with plenty. But yet, there is this pervasive uh, negative energy out there in the collective that all the time we're having to fight against. Um, and... Really, I feel this card is saying, but it's not the truth. Um, I was given one word yesterday thinking about this video. I asked Metatron just for one word to sum up September. And he gave me the word belong, belong. And if you think about it, what he's really trying to say to us is, what do you belong to? Who do you belong with? What side do you belong with? Are you on the side of hope that believes in abundance, that believes that despite whatever else is going on in the world, we're going to be OK. We can do this. There is a great new advert that's just been done by Marks and Spencers in the UK, and it shows a, a kid who's going off on their first day of school. And it resonated with me because my daughter's just done that. And the child looks into the camera and says, I've got this. And that's what I feel. It's like, we've got this. We can do it. You know, we can have this abundance. We can have the joy. We can live a fifth dimensional life. But yet hanging over us like a specter is this energy. And it's the energy of deceit, which basically says, no, you can't. You know, that's a lie. It's much more difficult than that. Don't believe that you know, hook into the fear, hook into the drama, hook into the war, hook into the horror. That's the reality. And it's not the truth. It doesn't have to be your truth. Um, let's ask for a clarifying card as well on that card of deceit, because that's the first thing that came up to me. And I do want to address it because it's very much there. And actually, if you look at the card, look at the, look at the colours. It's the bright red. So it's almost like we were just filling ourselves up with that bright red energy and asking for safety and abundance, all the things that the base chakra is made up of. And here we're being shown, no, you can't. You know, this figure here, who isn't a particularly pleasant looking figure, it's like, no, I own all that. You know, it's all mine. You can't have it. Let's pull one more for a clarifying card for that deceit card. walking away okay we've got the card of walking away walking away from this and i'll tell you what 
I don't particularly like the car, but I'm going to put it up to the camera because what I want you to see, I don't know if you can see, is his face is quite hypnotising, okay? His face is quite hypnotising. And that's the point about these fear-based energies. They're hypnotic. A lot of people have brought, bought into them. Um, you have bought into them to a degree. And it's time for us as a species to walk away from that. He doesn't look particularly happy. He's there sort of with his gold, which has been earned from, you know, uh, I don't know, doing things that maybe aren't for the collective good. He doesn't look happy. He's not smiling, you know. She is. She's free. She's walked away from all of that, you know. And she's going through the gates and she believes there's a better way for herself and for the world. So definitely we are having to fight through some energies at this time. So let's bring in the Archangel Zadkiel energy now. And I knew I had to use him for some reason. Zadkiel is very good at purifying our space, okay? So I think daily in, over September, or going forward really, we should all be asking Archangel Zadkiel to come in and to help just purify our mind, our body, and our space. So let's just do that together. Purple light of Archangel Zadkiel which is about transmutation of energy, removing lower energy. Just feel the power of that. Any fear-based energy that you have attracted into you or is there for whatever reason, just allow it to be dissolved with Zadkiel's light. Definitely about purification. Okay, um, let's go back now to man holding a coin. Um, I do think there is a meaning here with regard to the colours in the background. Can you see that there is a, there's like a violet light and there is um, a, go a golden yellow light as well? And to me, this feels as though um, purple and violet are colours which are very much linked into spirituality, into being of spiritual service. And it feels as though we're all being asked to um, work in some way to help others, to help the collective good at this time. Um, and by doing that, we attract abundance back to us. OK, um, it doesn't have to be financial abundance. Abundance can be many things. It can be love. Um, it could be friendship. Um, it, it could be anything, anything that makes you happy. Abundance is um, a very wide term that people always associate just with money, but it isn't. I want to read the message that goes with that card 43. So let's do that. Man holding a coin. So I feel there's another thing that I might not have got to yet. Let's have a glug of water. Okay. This card shows a man sitting in a lush flowering field holding a large bright coin. For men, this could indicate an aspect of yourself and a readiness to further your goals and receive increased health, money or value in your life. Greater success is on its way. It also um, talks about a financial advisor or healer whom you already know or are soon to meet. This man is helpful and may bring sage advice concerning the action you need to take next. Be open to this person showing up to offer support and guidance in your life. It can also signify a new love interest. So basically, it's a very beneficial energy. It's of a man coming forward or it's a male energy coming forward to help. It also feels as though Metatron is saying it's about you getting in touch with your divine male energy within you to create the success and the abundance that you need this September. OK, let's move on to um, these two cards at the end, contract and attachment. OK, and I'm really picking up karma quite clearly with this. OK, um, we have the card of contract and we have the card of attachment, cards five and card six. Over and above what the meanings may actually be in the deck, I'm wanting to talk about karma here because these two together to me clearly show a karmic contract 
that for whatever reason you may still be hanging on to, clinging on to actually, I'm being told, <laughs> okay? It might be with regards to love, it might be with regards to business, it could be regarding um, family also, it's to do with relationships, but it's something whereby you, I'm, I'm being drawn here to this lady, and can you see that she's um, holding a mask up? And it's almost as though she doesn't know who she is um, outside the karmic relationship or the karmic contract that she has maybe been living with for quite some time. And I really feel as though the scales here are showing that it is time to start to balance out that karma, okay? Release it. Again, the Archangel Zadkiel energy, the, the purple energy, would be a good one to use if you feel as though you wish to ask for a dispensation from karma. I've done other videos on karma, so I've said before and I stand by that you can't get out of a karmic contract until you have paid your dues, um, until you've learnt what you were meant to learn from that karmic contract. But we definitely are, and I've been saying this for a few months, at a time when karmic contracts are coming to a close. If it's not this September, it's not far off. And so this month feels as though it's about releasing yourself, starting to release yourself, even if it's in your head, starting to take practical steps to release yourself. If you look at this woman, she's actually chained. Can you see she's chained there to something? She's completely attached to it. She doesn't have an identity outside the contract that she has been um, living with for some time, okay? Um, so think about that in your life. I'm gonna pull one more card in relation to that as well. So contract and attachment. Let's have a third energy, Metatron, just to give us some extra advice. We've got the angel of love here. Um, and to me, that is about whatever is ending whatever is being learnt, try to hold that heart of love, okay? Try to be loving, um, as loving as you can. I'm sure I've said this in a previous video recently, which is about when karmic contracts are coming to a close, make sure you act with integrity, uh, with decency and with love in your heart, okay? Right, I want to pull some other cards now from another deck, because I was told to bring them in and I think there's just one card that we probably need and that is the I'm going to pull one card for September from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron Reed okay let's just see what card we get for that so I'm just shuffling them actually so you can see I'm shuffling them over candlelight it's quite a nice way to um Cleanse them, purify them, allow the light into the deck. Again, we're asking Metatron to work through this deck. And this is the card that we get. And we're back to the elementals again. We've got the fire prince, okay? And on it, it says optimism and aggression. Feels quite like the energy that I was talking about at the start of this video in a different way opposing energies. I was talking about feeling really excited and then flat one moment and here we've got the energy of feeling really optimistic and happy and then a counter energy of feeling aggressive. Okay so let's just spend a moment to link into the fire prince. Okay okay so put the card back up and I'm going to spray just to help me tune into it the, the fire elemental from Archangel Metatron. Let's just put that around. Let's tune into the message of this card. Okay, more than anything, with those two opposing um, energies, I see here somebody, the fire prince, is the one who has mastered the element of fire, okay? Who understands how to use it in his life. He has fire in his belly, he uses fire to light his way forward. He uses fire as an energy to ward off um, predatory animals, to keep him safe. 
He knows that if he gets too close to the flame, he will get burnt. And he knows that he is dealing with um, something that has the ability to transform, but also to bring harm. And so it's as though, this feels to me as though in September, we need to master our own fire energy. Um, we, and fire as an energy sits within the solar plexus, okay? It's in the center of our being. And it feels as though some of us are feeling very lethargic and some of us are feeling as though we've got so much energy we don't know what to do with it. Back to those two things I talked about. And this is saying you need to um, create the balance here, okay? We need to um, use the fire energy for ultimately for our own good, but for other people's good as well, okay? So I'm gonna put that one there. I want to pull an animal card. I was told to pull an animal card. I'm going to take this from the Stephen Farmer deck. Let's just see what goes with these cards that we've pulled. Okay, which, which animal is here to help us in September? as a totem. Which animal is here to help us in September as a totem? Sorry, I can't speed it up. Until one comes out, I'm not taking it. Which animal is here to help us in September? there. The falcon. Okay, the falcon. And it says, act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation, without hesitation. I'm <laughs> changing the words. Can't read the, can't read the word. Okay, falcon. Right, let's read what the falcon says to us for September. Uh, da, da, da. Providence is on your side and the opportunity that has been presented to you is congruent with your soul's purpose. Even if you don't feel fully prepared or have doubts in your ability to manage the complexities that are inherent in tackling this venture, dive in anyway. You'll be pleasantly surprised by the support that will come to you in unexpected ways. All it takes is the willingness on your part to continue on a steady course wholeheartedly, while at the same time being open to changes in the direction that the winds are blowing. It's important to stay focused on the goal that's ahead of you, while also remaining mindful of the purpose of your mission. Commit to your mission 100% and fulfill the commitment to the best of your ability. This isn't a time for analysis introspection or retreat but a time for action as you respond to the opportunity that's before you be willing to adjust your course of action as the need dictates while at the same time moving steadily towards your goal so that feels as though it goes really nicely with the energy of fire doesn't it because to be able to grasp whatever opportunity is in front of you now, you've got to have the fire in your belly. You've got to have the passion. You've got to have the enthusiasm. You've got to have the motivation, okay? So in colour terms, you need to be working with the oranges, the yellows, the reds. We need to be firing up our base chakra, okay? Doing anything to activate it, you know? And remember, physical exercise is really important here as well whether it be running, swimming, whatever, whatever, football, um, soccer, whatever, um, you need to be getting moving, okay? Um, certainly here in the Northern Hemisphere, we're about to dive into autumn and winter. It's a natural time to want to hibernate, but actually you can hibernate, but you still got to keep active. You still got to keep the body moving. Otherwise the body becomes sluggish and it can't take up um, full use of all the opportunities that are coming your way. Okay, so we've had a few different messages uh, this September, and I think I'd like to end by linking in to 
the Tanzanite Third Eye Energy Spray, okay? So this is the third eye, and some guidance, please, Metatron, for just seeing our way through this month of September, which does feel a bit jumbled. I'm not going to try and make it into something it's not. It feels a bit jumbled, but we've got to try and ignore the um, deceit energies that are around at this time, that are trying to pull us back, lower our energy, make us fear the world, make us fear what is around us. We have to believe in the abundant opportunities that are here for us at this time. Be aware that there is definitely some karmic contracts still playing out, still ongoing. Keep a heart of love. And let's just tune in now to the third eye, see if we can pick up whatever is going on here. Let's get a glimpse into September. I know we're already into it, but glimpse of what's to come. For some reason, I'm I'm fee I'm being told that that um, that old phrase about things come in threes. So look out for things that come in threes, whether that be events on the world stage, whether that be things that happen in your own life whether it be in um, signs that you get given from spirit, um, from Metatron, you know, if, if a, um, you ask for guidance and then you, you get the answer three times, but in three different ways, take notice of that. The number three feels very important for September. Um, and he, he, Metatron is also saying to me that the month of November, of course, is the ninth month. So we have three times three times three. We have three lots of three in the month of November. What does he mean by that? Let's try and see if I can get more clarity on that. Okay, there are um, there are a number of different connotations of that. I'm being shown through um, three party relationships, people who are in a, um, a relationship with two people or who are pulled to two people. It's as though that needs to be not necessarily resolved in September, but I feel as though breakthroughs come. We're back to this karmic thing that's going on. Um, I feel as though some of you are extending your family. There is a third soul coming in. Um, I'm also being shown three as the Trinity, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Three as the pyramid. Um, and the pyramid and the tetrahedron stands again for the energy of fire. Three stands for the energy of Jupiter. Jupiter is the most, is the biggest, most bountiful, abundant planet. So there's another message coming through about abundance with the number three. I'm going to pull a card on that. So I'm not quite sure what it means. Um, it's a bit like when I did the Earth Changes video and I said to you that on the um, eclipse I kept he hearing the word flood and I didn't really understand what it meant. Well, I do understand now. Obviously, in hindsight, it's obvious what it meant. It's the same thing I'm getting here. I'm just hearing the word, the number three, over and over again. I think it might make more sense towards the end of the month. Let's pull a card if we can on it. I'm not sure these are the right deck actually. I'm going to go for the Energy Oracle deck. What is card number three actually? That's what Metatron's saying to me. Look at what card number three is. Okay. Card number three. <laughs> card number three is the one we'd already picked. <laughs> it's this one. It's blossoming abundance. Let's read the message. It's obviously important. 
Right, put it up so you can see it. This card shows a beautiful golden garden in the springtime with coins and new flowers blossoming all around. They even hang like fruit on the tree above. Upright, this card signals a new increase in wealth, possibly in a dramatic and unexpected way. Be aware that you sow the seeds of your own wealth and prosperity, much like a gardener works the ground and begins to see bloom, results take hold. This card upright indicates that the universe is blessing you and helping the fruits of your labour to blossom. So smell the flowers and tend to the growth. Be grateful and enjoy. So that's quite a nice, that's quite a nice uh, meaning there, isn't it? I think that's probably quite a good place to leave it as well. So a mixed month coming up. Um, keep your head above the water. Uh, keep your sense of humour. Keep your heart open to the loving energies that are there. Walk away from lower vibrational energies and the energies of deceit. Watch out for deceit as well this month. There may be some people around you who are playing up, who are not um, in, a, a, in real alignment with you anymore, who might be talking behind your back or behaving in a bad way. Rise above it, rise above it, always rise above it. Um, and just maintain your own your own professional and personal code of conduct. Do as you would be done to. You know that's always what I try and live by. It's not a bad one to to go by. Um, I'm just going to look at my notes just to see if there's anything that I have left out because I was making some notes on this video last night. Um, I think we've probably covered it. I think we've covered it. All right, I'm going to get this posted up and um, I will be speaking to you probably towards the end of September, middle to end of September. I'll do another video. Much love till then. Bye bye.